Doris, uh, want to start us off? Yeah. Hi again. Uh, we are now starting actually the exercise rounds. We were very fast, so we are a bit ahead of the schedule. Uh, first thing, I want to introduce again briefly the exercise tools we are using this year. Uh, you already know about try.pro.org. You can use that as, as long as you have access. Then we have Bro Life. Did everyone manage to log in? The password is missing. Okay. The, the password is actually on your, with your SWAC, you got a how to. Yeah. There's the. It's the second sheet of the bundle of papers that you're seeing. But it's actually. That's the password. Hmm? It's there on the in the terminal, too. So the virtual machine is also um, ready. It's an image that contains also the exercises and all the PCAPs you need. So if you continue to have um, problems with the Wi-Fi, you can just work offline. Yes, please. What? What was that? In the virtual machine, <laughs> you need to type uh, sudo minus uh, i. You need to become root to make bro control work. Okay, so you're already kind of in the first exercise. Um, before you start with the first, so, so setting up bro control and all that is part of the first exercise, so please let me finish here. Um, so we have the virtual machine, including the exercises. You will need for some exercises uh, internet, so you need to um, re um, consult the documentation for some exercises. And for the people who still love to work with paper, we also have printed out a few ex um, copies of the exercises, of all exercises. So whoever wants one, there's no, of course, there's no print out of the PCAP file, so you still need the, the resource file. Um, but maybe that's convenient. Um, did I forget something? Do we have any other sources and resources? Nothing there. Okay, in that case, we can actually start with exercise one. What you will see, can everybody please open exercise one, it's called beginner. This is the virtual machine. The exercises on Bro Live should be in uh, the root directory slash exercises. On the virtual machine, it's um, conveniently directly on the desktop. So what you can see here is you have in one directory that has the name of the exercise, the PDF, with all the problems we ask you, and um, if there is a script needed, it's also there with the ending.bro and the PCAP files that are used. So. What is different? This year is that we have categories for the, for the exercises. We are aware that some people here are here for the fourth time. That those are the real veterans. So you will probably um, find this, this exercise familiar. There are other that are here for the first time and that are beginners. We are never sure of the, of the skill level of everyone. So we put um, levels on the exercises. 
for example, this first exercise it has the level beginner. If you feel uh, very advanced, you can just skip those and find exercises that have the label uh, intermediate or even advanced. We have also some challenges there during the exercises that have labels like advanced plus. The exercises are usually longer than the time slot we plan for each exercise. If you don't get through, don't be sad. That's okay, that's, that's supposed to be like this. So, if, and if also, if there is an exercise you find not interesting because you know that already, skip it. Skip it, skip it until you find something that's interesting. And if you find, don't find anything interesting, you can give us feedback on the agenda page of Brocon. We have um, put links for you. There are also, again, the, the PDF files of the versions of the exercises. And here are surveys. They, I use Google for that. Whoever doesn't like Google, you can come to me and complain in person. And <laughs> we will find a solution. Um, other than that, you can just click that and fill out. It's, it's very short. It's only three questions. But you have a lot of space here to to drop all your thoughts on the exercises. We really want to improve those further. We are working very hard. I, the Bro team this year, um, John, Vlad, all the people did a very, very great job on uh, designing new exercises, improving old exercises, finding new challenges for you. And there you can leave some comments. We are happy also to get some, oh, these exercises are great. But it's not, no, no force. Good. In that case, I just suggest you start. The exercise four um, is actually from this website. They allowed us to use it. It's an, so, so this is the walkthrough. If you get really, really stuck, don't, Use it as long as you don't need it. I, I changed it a little bit to make it more useful for Bro. Use only Bro to do that. It's fun. Okay. More questions? Any problems setting stuff up? Yes? Eric, can you just reduce these materials to our coworkers when we get back? Yes. Okay. We will show you after each exercise, you will get a link to the solution. I would like to ask you to not publish that. You can give it to your coworkers after you tormented them by not telling them that there is a solution. <laughs> um, but don't publish it on, on a website or make it um, or distribute it via Twitter or Facebook or whatever. We would really like to have a set of exercises we can reuse. Everyone who ever did teaching for more than one semester knows the problem of coming up with good exercises every year, every semester. So it would be nice to have uh, some of the exercises, at least the solutions under the hood. It um, doesn't let you install Bro Control. It's not working. We have to find John. Do you, do you do Bro Control? Sorry? Do you, do you do Bro Control? It doesn't work. You need sudo for Bro Control. So we have a difference here between live and the VM. So on the VM, you can use sudo, and that should work for You need sudo for broken control to do the install, and that should work on the VM. Yeah. On live, sudo is not enough. Uh, the broken control exercise on, on live. Uh, so you can switch um, back. That's why it's a bit of yeah. a <laughs> And, and for all those secret exercises, you know, this is these uh, bullets anyway, so it's only an issue for... Yeah. It's only in the beginner yeah. exercise. Only an issue for um, the Bro Control exercise. So use the VM for that, or um, I guess just, guess just go ahead. Okay. Um, okay, so one more thing about the uh, live.bro.org. 
Um, the directories where the exercises are located in I actually don't have write permission for the user running bro, and that is on purpose because they are mounted from the host system. That means basically if you want to run bro, don't CD into the exercise directory, but either use the, the complete path to the files there or just copy them over into your home or something like that. Make sense? Welcome back. Did everyone find food? Anyone hungry still? Good. Who is still working on the beginner exercise? <laughs> so that's like two people. I saw now two or three maybe. Okay, I think so the, the majority of you is, is done with that exercise. Is that right? Can I get a few nods? Thank you. Okay, in that case, we just go briefly over the solutions. Were there any questions? Anything that was very hard to solve or unclear or? No? Okay. So, the solution you find here, does everyone see the URL? This is the solution I asked you to not publish. Okay. Um, there were some, some problems with uh, Bro Life and uh, Bro Control. I learned that this is apparently um, not solvable so fast, so I hope everyone could do something with uh, the virtual machine or was already familiar with that topic. It was mainly about uh, it, it typing the commands, um, nodes, status, net stats to get familiar with the output, working with the help output and stuff like that. Um, I won't go through the details here. If you have any questions, now would be the time. Good. The next one, did anyone have trouble running Bro directly on the PCAP file? Did everyone manage to do that? Good. So next part was um, <clears throat> actually reading the log files uh, you, to, to um, see which scripts were loaded by Bro. You had to look into the loaded scripts dot something dot log. The connections can be found, the network connections can be found in con dot log. I think this is all very, very intuitive. That that should be easy. Also. Um, finding some, some fields, for example, the, the origination um, IP address and port and um, the destination port. Good. Did anyone find something interesting in weird.log? What have you found? You can always raise your hand and help me a bit here. Good. What do you so in weird.log you you find everything that Bro thinks um, it cannot handle, and in this case in in the PCAP files I gave you um, there were unmatched DNS messages, and this is actually something that um, was helpful for the last exercise or will be if you are not yet there, um, working with um, yeah, weird DNS messages can bring you on the right track if you find a problem. Go, good, then. Um, digging into bro logs. Um, there it comes in very handy if you have some Linux experience already, if you can work with um, commands like cat, grab, sort, unique, those are the tools of the trade you need to use if you work with bro logs. 
you can always also write a script, but it's just very comfortable to just have these one-liners in the terminal. The missing DNS request we were asking for in the exercise was for the IP 6555195250. Did everyone find that? Who did not find it? Good. Thank you. Yes? On the previous one, uh, maybe somebody else, I didn't have my networking working yet, but just the um, bro cover complaining about uh, DDoS not being able to speak. About? However you pronounce it, R, 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 R. Yeah. Yeah, we're complaining about that. Yeah, just we, we are. We are aware of that. That problem will go away, <laughs> yes. And it's much faster now, anyway. <laughs> yes? So on the previous no DNS one, I thought I had two different IPs that depend on the DNS. Okay, the interesting one is to find the same one and then search for it. I'm sure there's one that should be over the floor. Okay. So which was the second? The not? Uh, oh. Okay, good. Then we have a second one. Can you, um, it would be nice if you sent me a mail with that and I have a look at it and add it to the solution. Thank you so much. <clears throat> Good. The exercise for the advanced Bro users. Who tried that? Who was brave? Was it easy? Yeah. yeah. I think I think this 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 advanced level exercise is um, kind of simple for people who already know some Bro, who already worked with Bro. It's um, it might be a challenge for someone who just started, so we labeled it as advanced. So the file you were looking for is the q.char. Here's a little, here's how you, how you get there. You need to, need to use bro in the direct mode with the pcap files. <coughs> and um, <coughs> use the script. That is actually taken from a former different uh, exercise from two years back where you already had maybe contact with this um, bro script. And then it's very simple. Then you just read <laughs> through the logs and find all the, the answers there. Sorry? You don't find the, f the <laughs> file. You find the file name. Did that answer your question? Yeah. So, so the, 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 to see it, you need the script. It won't be there in the HTTP log if you don't use the, if you don't use Bro with the script. Okay. I think that's that's okay now. What I like about that example is um, we took this from a challenge from, from this website, the forensics contest. And um, they actually, it, it, there was a laptop to win if you solve it. And here, the prize, a Lenovo IdeaPad, which is a 
pretty good price. And if you use Bro for this challenge, it's actually quite simple to solve it if you know your Bro a bit. I found that very, I, I, when I started I, was, I wanted to make a new exercise that's a bit more challenging and I went to this, this security contest and thought oh, there will be the really hard things to do for, for a security exercise and it turned out using Bro it's just coming to you, most of it, if you know your, your way through Bro a bit. Thanks to those guys again for providing us with this challenge. And um, if there are there any more questions on this exercise? Yes, please. What was the second chart? I'm sorry? What was the second chart? You have found it? STFG dot char. It's a bit harder to, to uh, compile that to find that. Then there is even a third one. There's one you have to compile yourself using the JavaScript they provide. You download JavaScript and with that you can generate the, the second. That's a typo, thank you. Can you note it down somewhere that there's a typo? There was another question here. No, it's just pointing out the second file. Okay. 